So this fridge here uh, was left behind by the previous owner and we cleaned it out really well. It's supposed to be an indoor fridge, but we don't have space for it right now. So I wrapped it with this um, Reflectix um, insulation to help its ability to stay cold, frozen and cold. <clears throat> Freezer, refrigerator of course. So in here we have a bunch of bones with meat on it that our plan was to boil down and make some bone broth and or use it for dog food and chicken food. So I'm gonna take some out right now. We're gonna get started on making some of the broth. So I'm gonna get some out, wash off the meat and stick it in the smoker to heat it up. Come on, get back. I'm gonna get some small pieces first. Now these are not for you. These are not for you. Wash those off, put those back. Yeah, I did. Alright. I gotta get a new bag for those and clean off the bottom of the refrigerator. I poked a hole and there's a little bit of blood. I don't want it to stink. Nice try, buddy. Nice try. This is from our processing day with our pigs that um, we butchered. What happened is I went ahead and baked the meat at 375 for an hour and we went ahead and used the smoker. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this in the stock pot, gonna fill it up with water, apple cider vinegar, some onions, and some carrots, and start making a bone broth. And you said how much meat per water? So typically it's about a gallon of water per about pound or so of bone. I'm gonna do it a little heavier. Um, I would say we probably have about, I don't know, this feels like about five pounds of meat. Can we go grab the scale? <laughs> we can if you'd like. Do you need to? No, I don't. Okay. You know me, recipes. It's approximate. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll put these in. Just some rough cut onions and carrots. And then top it off with water. apple cider vinegar, about two tablespoons for every gallon of water. Whoa. How long do you think this will take? Um, I honestly don't know. <laughs> We've not, I've never used this before, so it's gonna have to all come to a boil. I'm gonna have to boil it for several hours. Sometimes it's overnight, sometimes it's 12 hours. It just really depends. So we'll have to keep coming back and checking on it to make sure the bones are covered. Um, and then of course we'll have to skim off the gross stuff mm. as well. So first time making broth, so we'll see. So also during pig processing day, our friend Ben, he let us know that we had chestnut trees that we didn't realize we had. So we have been collecting chestnuts and I just roasted some chestnuts. So what you do with the chestnuts is you score them and you kind of create a little X in the skin or the shell. And then you can soak them or you don't have to soak them. We chose not to soak them. And I did roast them in the oven at 350 for about 35 to 45 minutes. And as you can see, they're popping open. That's what should be happening. Um, I did it on the tips because I couldn't remember. You're supposed to lay it on the flat side and put the X on the round side. So I did it wrong. I don't, it looks like it still helped, but this will also keep it from exploding. And see, they're peeling quite nicely, which is exactly what you want. And I'm gonna have to figure out how to cook these, I mean, how to use these in other recipes. I've heard they pair well with chicken, 
I smoked some chicken the other day, so maybe we'll do that with dinner tonight. And then this is just a damp, damp kitchen cloth. This is to help steam them a little bit, again, just to make it easier to peel or shell them. So that's another project we're working on right now. <laughs> All right, so this is the actual light fixture. Okay. This is the lights. Um, you're supposed to turn it on and yeah, you see it lit up uh, yep. so it works. Oh, that's really bright. Yeah, it's uh, 2,000 lumens. Okay. Yep. And then here's all of the screws. So these are gonna be the different, these are the mounting bolts to actually mount it into the area. And then you have the other bolts that'll connect all of the pieces. This is gonna be where the um, solar panel goes. And so basically how it's gonna look is the light will be like this and the solar panel will be up like this. Mm. And so it'll be able to get light. And of course you want it to either be south facing as preferred, which is this way, mm -hmm. or east or west, which is this way. You don't want it to face north, which mm -hmm. we didn't plan on. Yeah, this, um, this, or, this is orientated east and west. Yep. So it'll be an east-west um, type orientation for us, but... Okay. 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 That's on there. Ooh, that's that's really bright. <clears throat> so now with the solar panel, Okay. This just obviously the plastic needs to come off and this matches with that. You may not want to be down there just in case I drop things, which is a very strong possibility. Okay. Okay. So good? Um, no, not really. <laughs> I don't, I don't know how this is going to happen. <laughs> um, Did, is the brace already on? Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh my. Okay. <laughs> the lighting is pretty bad. But. Oh. <laughs> This is a little wonky. <laughs> um, maybe I'll tighten that bolt first. Okay. Look at that. All right, now I have to get the solar panel up here. So it's going to be really awkward for me to put the panel up and then put these bolts in and then put the nuts on the bolts. So we're taping them in place now and then I can take the tape off once I have this in place. Yeah, because the instructions said to mount this ahead of time but the problem we're having is the ladder we have and trying to hold it up over your head with the the weight of this we thought this would be an easier way to do it so we're kind of macgyvering it a little bit all right so this unit came with a remote control and the remote control you can um turn on the unit there's a sensor button is probably what we'll use uh what the sensor is is it's a motion detector and when it detects motion, it'll turn on to 100% brightness. And then after 20 to 30 sec seconds of zero movement, it'll go back to only 30%. Uh, or you can do always on, which is the auto button. Uh, you can do it for five hours, four hours, or three hours. And then it'll go to motion sensor after that. So you have a lot of options, which is actually pretty cool. Um, but I'm gonna set it to sensor. And so that should only come on when there's motion detected underneath it. We chose this unit because it has 2000 lumens and also because of the height that we needed. Um, this is about a 15 foot to an 18 foot high building is where we planned on installing it. And then, so that should give us around 1100 square feet of exposure or light. And so we figured that would light up this whole front area uh, that we could have and it's right outside of the house and the trailer. So that's we installed it here We're also planning on doing these also in the barn areas just so we have some other light there as well. So 
we'll check it out at night. Do you ladies want to be moved? How you ladies doing? Yeah. You guys look all comfy. So they're kind of just hanging out right now. So we could just undo the other one and put it in place and put this one in and then move them. What could go wrong? What do you guys think? It's gonna go perfectly swimmingly well, right? I think we're good. Okay. So we're going to turn it off. Yep, it's already off. Oh, that's good. Um, so then you're thinking undoing that one. Yep. And then we'll just bring that to loop around. I think we're gonna have extra than what I'm, what we have plan planned out. Cause this isn't very much more. It's just extending it a very small amount more. And we're gonna be getting rid of all of this part of it. You're not following my- Nope, I'm not. That's okay. <laughs> It is English, I see. They like their new patch. They do. All right, let's see if I can do this one-handed. <laughs> um, oh, do you want me to film? Well, yes. Are we gonna cut through this way? We, have, we only have, what, four uh, left? Four or five more stakes. So we should cut this way and we'll have to bring the other one in a little bit. Okay. Do you ladies like your new space? I'll go get some fresh water. Okay. That is in the... I'll go get their shelter. Okay. Then I'll get some minerals for them too. Did you use the lift? Okay, back it up to that guy. Okay, right there is good. Nothing a little carabiner can't handle. Yeah, give that a try. Ouch! Ouch! Ow! Katie! When the carabiner fails. Yeah, it didn't work. Because <laughs> whenever Katie turned, this just hit the tire and then rolled up onto the tire. Yeah. So it wasn't back far enough from the back side of the mower. Yeah, look out, guys. Come on, look out. How much pig poop do you guys need? None. Yeah. Sheep. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, you guys don't need the minerals. Where should I put this? They like it kind of in the open. So. Kinsley May, come on. I'll turn. That work? That works. Great. Smiles. All right, come on, guys. Kinsley, I'll turn. Let's go. I'll turn. Come on, guys. Come let's on, go, let's boys. go, let's go. Let's go. Come in, let's go. Oh, we got the best. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I like that. You like that shelter? You can sleep in there, buddy. <laughs> We did it! On camera, we didn't lose any sheep. <laughs> That's a first. Yeah, even though Winston decided that they needed to move before we were ready for them. Yeah, he was doing what he was supposed to do, but <laughs> did it a little prematurely. Right. <laughs> He's still learning. <laughs> yeah. Did you have your, your dinner? Was that delicious? Was that so good, Kinsley? You guys only got half your dinner because you ate the other half worth in sheep poop.
Did you just finish your dinner, buddy? Hey, Blanche. Do you like your new space? Little Miss Preggers. Sophia, Dorothy, Rose. Do you like your space? Okay. Want to try to keep the bones submerged as best we can. Yummy, it's starting to get some color. I'm probably gonna scrape some of that scum off the top. That's all the scum you wanna get off. All right, that should go back up to a boil now. Yep. And then we'll check it again before it gets too dark but it'll be going all night long. It's eight o'clock p.m. We came outside because we saw that the light had came on and we installed it probably, what, four hours ago or so? So it had some sun. I'm gonna turn it off just to kind of show a difference. <laughs> <laughs> Are you there? Oh. <laughs> oh! Can you see me? How about now? Still here. That's cool. Like, yeah. yeah. No, this is good because this gives you a, a good radius. You can see the line comes out all the way up. Yeah, that's it. Yep. Nice. Um, is it on? What is it on? Motion yep. sensor. So there, it just oh, went yeah. down to the thirty percent. I don't know if you caught that. Yep. Because I can go and walk under it. Okay. You don't have to get very close. Nope. So it's great. a nice wide motion. So then if we walk away, it should go back down in about 20, 30 seconds, if, as long as nothing else <laughs> attracts it. Mm -hmm. Nice. All right. Awesome. It works. There it went. There it went. First batch of Bone broth is in the bag and in the cans, <laughs> jars. So made, this pot ended up making um, six of these jars full and also three gallon size freezer bags full. I have three in the freezer, those will save. I'm gonna let these cool. I'll probably only keep two in the fridge and the rest will go in the freezer just because um, I think fresh bone broth only lasts about a week and I don't know that I can go through all six of these so I'm gonna make another batch we still have more bones to process In the next batch I'm gonna get a little more creative and add some rosemary and some garlic and some other flavors this one I wanted to keep super simple so the chickens are gonna get the treats of all of the goodies that came out of the bone broth um, what we couldn't consume and so they're gonna have fun picking through all that tasty meat until next time take care bye